So, after a week or so, or two weeks of doing very, very complicated coding things on the channel, I've decided to release a new version of my autoblogger. Now, this is a very, very simplified version. This is not what I'm going to be selling in the future, but this is just because, you know, I, I, I just want to release things, guys. I enjoy releasing things. I don't know what it is. So, first of all, Visual Studio Code. You need Python. You need Git SCM, blah, blah, blah. We've been through this so many times before. We'll do git clone. If you don't want to do any of that, by the way, just press code here and download it as a zip and then open it in Visual Studio Code. So we'll say Claude Auto Blogger like that. Okay, so right now and probably for the foreseeable future, this does only really work with Shopify. Now you could tweak it a little bit to work with anything. All you have to really do is change the inputs. And I'll show you exactly what I mean in one second. But before we do that, I will just show you how to make probably the the best Shopify content very, very quickly and very, very easily. Okay, so once that's finished downloading, let's open the folder quickly. We've got it Claude. Autoblogger, I can't see it. There it is. Select the folder. And what I mean by changing the inputs, by the way, is changing what's inside the .m file. So for example, this here says custom collections file path. All you need to do is just put a list of your collections your internal links, okay? Products file path, just put products.txt, uh, just put your product links, okay? You don't need to use it the way that I'm using it. I just wanna show you how I'm using it and why I think this is such a cool way to do it. So we'll use two men as an example, just because you know it's a, it's a pretty good example to, to do things like this. What you wanna do is you wanna look for apps. So we'll type app here and we'll press build custom apps. That's so this is the custom app development thing. So we're going to press create an app and we'll say collection ID exporter and we'll create the app here. And we just need two very, very simple things. Um, we just need to give it access to read and write. And yeah, that's, that's literally it. So uh, yeah, we're here and we'll click configure admin API scopes right here. And we'll type in blog. And we'll press these two and we'll type in um, collection. Oops, collection. And we'll just do both of these because I'm not sure which one, it, which one it was. And we'll just press save. That's literally all we have to do. And that will give us an app. And then once we press install, we can see the API token, which we can then use to very, very quickly and very, very easily grab the data from our store. Now, I don't know exactly if I can show this, so I'm just gonna grab these quickly and put them into my .m file. I don't think it's particularly important because you can just read them right, but whatever. So just press reveal token once and copy into your m file. Okay, so once you've grabbed that, what you wanna do is you wanna go here and just type in Hura. And it's called, it's this product here, Hura uh, Embeds, okay? And you don't actually really need to do anything here because it's already in the bot, but you just need to install this particular app right here. It's called Hura product showcase builder now you can press create a showcase and grab a collection and then just choose a collection let's say i don't know this and then get code but you don't really need to do this okay because it's already inside my bot so the last thing you need to do is search domains at the top here and you just need to grab this right here two men dot it dot my .com and put it in your dot m file the final thing we need is an API key from Anthropic. So we'll create a new key, copy the key. And then this is what your .m file should look like. Obviously the two that are sensitive, I've just deleted quickly just to show you this. You don't need to change anything else, okay? Just leave everything else as it is. Okay, so now just go to terminal, new terminal at the top here, and let's just do python scraper.py and see if it works. I don't know why it wouldn't work. Okay, sorry, the, the error here was you need HTTPS on, on, on this link, which I didn't even know. I'll be deleting these afterwards because I just realized that I just showed them. So. Okay, so what this does is Python scraper.py custom collections information saved to custom collections.txt, pages information saved to pages.txt, product information saved to products.txt, blogs information saved to blogs.txt. Now, I'm not sure if blogs.txt is working still. No, it's not. That's fine. The reason is it should be looking for articles, not blogs. It's not a big problem, guys. I don't really like to include internal links to my old, to my own 
uh, content. Anyway, if I click on custom collections. Okay, so there are two different types of collections. I didn't even realize this. <laughs> okay, so I was previously I was getting custom collections, but I should have actually been getting smart collections. So we can see here we have now a huge list of our collections. There we go, 150 collections. That actually still seems pretty low. There's nothing to do with kit on here. I'm not sure why it's only getting 150. There should be more than that. And then we go on products. Again, it's limited to 150. So it must be limited to 150 every time. These are all of our links, if you think about it, because this is an internal link. This is a, um, a relative internal link. But we also have the collection ID. Now, if you remember, Hura finds IDs or it can embed any collection purely by the ID of that collection. Now, again, this isn't quite perfect because it seems to just be stopping at 150. So you'd probably have to use pagination in order to get the rest of the collections. But let me just show you what this looks like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the relative path of smart collections.txt. I'm going to go back to the env. And I'm just going to change this to this because this has more options. Everything else should be absolutely fine. And then all you need to do is right click new file keywords dot text. And then let's just say, um, I don't know, best, no, uh, Barber Napoli, a brand overview. Okay, let's just leave it like that for now. And then we'll do, this is just an example, guys. You can make this do whatever you want. You can change the script using ChatGPT. It's such a simple script that it should take about five seconds to change. So you can see here we're missing sample article.txt. We'll do new and we'll do sample underscore article.txt. And then we'll actually just go to two men because again, I want to show you kind of how I'm doing this and not just give you the, the tool to do it. I want to show you like how I'm getting the best results. So we'll click on this one. This is actually not a very good example article, but whatever. So just find your best performing article, not just your first article like I have here. Paste this in and then let's run this again. There might be another file missing, but it looks like there is no, there are no more files missing. So now it is running and you can see it only took me and I didn't really pause at all. Seven minutes and 30 seconds to set this up. Again, like I said before, if you want to change slightly how it works, if you want to get more collections, you could introduce um, something called pagination. So I'll actually, because I'm so nice, I'll uh, comment this at the top. If you want, no, that's not how you comment on Python, is it? If you want more collections, look at pagination. It will help you get more. So we'll save that. And then if you want to change easily, change what the writer is doing here so i actually have a really specific prompt but if you don't want to use um if you don't want to use my exact methodology or if you want to write for a non-e-commerce website literally all you have to do is just change the prompt here this is the system prompt and then the user prompt is here so yeah okay so now if i go to Generated article one dot text and just delete the repeated first bit. Let's see. Let's just not even check. Let's just go straight into two men. Click on online store. Blog posts. Go to markdown to html dot com. Put it in there. Grab the raw html like that. Add a new blog post. Show html. Paste it. Show editor, scroll down a little bit, looks good. You can see the internal links, blah, blah, blah. Hit save here. Oh, sorry. Uh, triple click here, control C, control V. Make sure you make this anything that's not H2 because right now there are two H2s on this page. And then save. And then I'm going to preview uh, the blog post and we'll see what it looks like. So the cool thing is you can do this with a store that is in development mode because everything will be automatically redirected the collection ids will not change for example when you move to a new store uh there we go there are the products perfect so what do we have we have a long article pretty long anyway i don't know how many words we have hura collections embedded like this which is beautiful so we no longer need to worry about embedding products or anything like that 
And yeah, the, the final result, guys, is let's have a look. It's going to be probably 1,200 words, I would guess, looking at the length of it. Let's have a look. Paste that in. Tools. Word count. 1,600 words, guys. I mean, you can't get much better than that. Thanks for watching. Look out for my videos, guys. I am going to be doing a lot of stuff soon. We're working on a lot of projects. If you're watching all the way to the end, you're an absolute legend. Make sure you leave a like on this video. And I'll see you very soon with some more content. Peace out. Oh, sorry, guys, just one second. I have no idea why it's done this, but it's actually included a... So, yeah, it's included a random website. I don't even know what this website is. It doesn't even exist. I don't know why it's done that. So what you can actually do is, if it does do that, is https slash slash livelybrands.com. I've never seen it do this before, just so you know. Click this little arrow button and then replace all. That'll then turn that into a... Um, Relative internal link. It should say in the writer to use relative internal links. Yeah, that's interesting. I've never seen it invent something like that before. So anyway, um, that happens, guys. You just, you've still got to check things. Let's just see. We're using Opus. Yeah, we, you've still got to check things, guys. You can't 100% rely on, on AI even now. But this tool is much better than my last one. Claude is much better than ChatGPT. And yeah, thanks for watching. Peace out.